Hey YouTubers, I got the throttle shaft out of my little Kawasaki motorbike that I made up, Kawasaki pressure washer engine, and I've sweated the shaft up with plumbing solder. People are probably going to think that's not going to be enough to work, but solder will surprise you. It'll wear that aluminum body of the bearing there before it will the solder. I've done it. I've got some that I've done way back when I was a young man. And they're still working. I always take my throttle blade and scratch an L on it on the left side with a capital L so I know the top from the bottom. That way I'm sure to get it back in right because it wears a little too when they're all out of shape. It'll actually booger up the edge of the of the throttle blade. But I gotta take my pocket knife and a little bitty file and dress that big blob off of there and get it down. I'll push it in and turn it. Wherever it leaves a slick shiny spot, I know I need to take a little bit off. When it quits leaving a shiny spot, I'm good to go. You don't have to worry about the bottom one because one, there's not a lot of leverage wearing on the bottom and two, it goes into a blind hole in there. It's not gonna suck anything out of there anyhow. So if you get the top one to compensate for the fact that it's got all that extra leverage, in a way, the extra leverage, leverage is a trade-off because it does have a tall bearing. But I've seen some old, uh, old, old wheel horse had a daggone throttle blade way up, or a throttle arm way up here. Well, that's all that much more leverage, so you know they're going to wear. But anyway, I'm going to try to stop my video here and come back to it. And uh, after I have it uh, fitting in the, in the hole, and we'll get back to it. Okay, I got the throttle shaft soldered up. Got very, very little play in it now. I mean, not enough to hardly see. I felt like it. I guess I could have got it even more precise. So the only thing I still got to do, get my L on the left-hand side of my throttle blade, which it is. So I know I'm slipping her in right. Put it in with the wear at the top, set this boy right there, there we go, oh yeah, he said you can't hear it, I gotta walk it around a little bit, let me turn this, It's very close to doing like a doctor's too. I'm working through the lens. Someday I'll get better at just kind of film stuff, but I ain't learned nothing yet because I ain't, I haven't been doing this very long. Screwdriver is barely magnetic. There we go. Hell yeah. And my L's sitting like I want it, just like I scratched it. So I know I'm right back in the exact same spot it started. The wear marks are going to match up with what they were in the beginning. Ah, that's an old carburetor. It's an old Tecumseh with a bowl drain. But it works fine on it. Well, I say Tecumseh. It's off a Tecumseh engine. Got a welch plug. It's got clean out plugs. Where do you ever see them anymore? Never. They don't want us to work on our own carburetors. You can see where I've milled a little off of the edges at one time to make it good and good and flat. Which it is. It, it, it ain't uh, the gasket takes up any imperfection that it's got. I put them on a piece of sandpaper on flat surface and file them till they, or sand them till they get smooth. I put this little cheater on there because of that just drives in. I didn't like the looks of it. But anyway, that's got a good tight throttle shaft now, almost no movement. My infinite adjustment on the low speed will be a whole lot more, uh, it'll work better. It'll idle smoother. It'll uh, take gas better when it's cold. So that's about that. If, uh, if this looked interesting, you want to see any more crazy crap, check out John Wade YouTube.
W-A-D-E, J-O-H-N-W-A-D-E. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.